Hello, in that video I'll just show you my new workshop vacuum cleaner. I was looking for some better vacuum cleaner for a while. I mostly looked at Kercher brand, but then one day go into Hofer Aldi store and saw this 40 euro cleaner, so I'll take it. So far I used them for a month or two and everything is great so far. Mostly used for cleaning chips from machines and so far didn't block the hose a single time. There are tons of ash vacuum cleaners on the market, pretty same with small differences. That one got 1300 watt of power, 20 liter steel container, 5 meter long cable, 1.5 meter long very flexible hose with steel insert, plus 50 centimeter of fixed aluminium tube and has 3 wheels. It gets function of vacuuming or blowing and filter cleaning function. Inside is a pretty big filter with a mesh around for bigger parts, so useful capacity of container is about 14 liter. So far I used basic vacuum, but it was full in a moment and emptying them was annoying. It has 2200 watt, but the new one with only 1300 has much more vacuuming power. It's really good for the price, it do the job just great, but still got few cons. First one is cable, which meant to be wrapped around the motor. But it's annoying, so I make a simply hook behind where I can hang a cable. And also storing a hose is much easier. Then there's aluminium tube. I don't want to scratch over the machines with aluminium, so I make a coupler which allow me to fit on the old plastic end of hose. And there's one more console fix in that video. It only has a switch, so it only works with full power, which can be problem if we got a bunch of chips, so it want to suck all at once, and then it make even bigger mess when chips flying around. So I buy that 2 kW motor controller for about 3 bucks. Now let's try to install the tin. When I open the cover, firstly check for the wiring. I want to install regulator behind the switch because I don't want it constantly supplied. Then I check for the mounting spot. Housing is very curved, so there's no way I mount it together with potentiometer. So I need to desolder it and put a piece of cable between. Then mount the regulator and wire them with a neutral end line I cut between switch and motor. It should work now, but don't, because it got another switch so the motor won't start if there's no filter fully tight non position. Ok, it worked now. A regulator is also a small trimmer for setting lowest RPM of the motor. So make some fine tuning and screw the cover back on. That's it, 20 minutes of work and a cheap regulator just bring the vacuum to next level. After those 3 tiny improvements vacuum cleaner become even better. I just can't wish more for the price, except for wheels so it won't fall that fast and about 50 cm longer hose, so I can reach every spot while the vac is on the floor, but I'll fix that in the future. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.